Now imagine that at some stage in everybody's life, they've hired a pair of these groovy shoes. I found a ball that fits the fingers and had a game of 10-pin bowling. And if you haven't, well, you wouldn't realise how much fun it is. Today I'm going to show you just how much fun it can be if you get a few friends together and have a game. There's dozens of bowling centres throughout South East Queensland, but today we're at the Kedron 10-pin bowl on Gympie Road, which is only about 15 minutes north of the city. The modern form of 10-pin bowling can be traced back as early as the 1100s in England, although there's even earlier evidence that dates back as far as ancient Egypt. But even though it's been around almost since the dinosaurs, that doesn't mean the competitors have. Guys, 10-pin bowlers and so young, what age did you start at? Oh, I started when I was 10. 10 years old? Yeah. Whereabouts? Oh, I started at the Bulger Bowl, the local centre near where I live. Oh, yeah. And what about you? I was about nine, nine and a half, and actually started at Ashmore on the Gold Coast. Yeah, I suppose once you are, you start, you feel like you're starting to bowl pretty well, you might think about taking it up more seriously. Yeah, sure. And also, too, in the centres, you find that there's a few coaches or people that are normally keeping their eyes out on, you know, a little bit of young talent. They normally give you a bit of a guiding hand. Yeah. Michael Little and Anna Patterson were both top of their field in junior 10 pin bowling. Now that Michael's 18 and Anna 20, they've continued to beat their competitors, most recently winning the Masters category in the Australian International Youth Championships. A formidable partnership, but even teamed up with Ross Clulow from Kedron Bowl, I was pretty confident that they'd suffer a humiliating defeat at the hands of myself and the team of champions that I personally selected, Laurel Edwards and Tony Barnett, or as we like to be called, Rocket Rupert McCall, Killer Edwards and Bruiser Barnett. Hi, I'm Bruiser. Hi, Killer. And Rocket Rupert McCall, how are you? Ross? Hi, how are you, Ross? Let the games begin. You know, it's not as easy as you think when you're up against champion players. But all things considered, we did pretty well. At least our shoes matched. As the sun goes down, you're after a bit more action. Kedron Bowl turns off the lights and goes rock and roll bowling every Friday and Saturday night. Let's rock and bowl. One, two, three, clap, four, clap, clap. Five, six, seven, clap, eight, clap, clap. Rock and bowl starts at 10 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. The lights go off, the mirror ball starts to spin, the pins glow in the dark, and the music cranks up a decibel or two. And just to get everyone into the feel of things, the staff get up on the counter and dance along to... Yep, you guessed it, the YMCA. And you know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. Kedron 10 pin bowl is at 278 Gympie Road, Kedron. The centre's open from 8am till midnight, seven days a week, and a game will cost you $5.50 for adults and $4.50 for juniors. Rock and bowl is held every Friday and Saturday night, starting at 10pm and going until midnight on Fridays and 1am on Saturdays, and that'll cost you $6 per game. Now you reckon that's good fun? Believe me, it is. So if you're stuck for something to do on a rainy day or a weekend, give it a thought. Now stick around because Channel 7's coverage of the Winter Olympics continues next. 
and don't forget to join us next week at 4.30 before the Winter Olympics and we'll give you some more great ideas on what to do in the great southeast. I see you later, Rupert. That, that was, was fun. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah. Great. Let's rock and bowl. Rock and bowl. Yeah, rock and bowl.